And we're back. Should probably check up on these cupcake salesmen people. Girls, yep. that's a Hi, I'm Shay. Want a cupcake, Shay? I want a cupcake. Great. Got any money? No, but I support your cause. That's great, but we need funds to pay for printing, distribution, baking, frosting. Come back when you get some real cash, okay? Aww. What's the special cause? We're raising money for an awareness campaign about her missing sister. And about the lies of the Maiden's Feast system. Yeah, cupcakes against lies. What exactly are the lies of the Maiden's Feast system? They told us that we had to offer maidens as a sacrifice to save our village. And we just went along with it because that's how it's always been done. Yeah, us too. But we were all lied to. Yes, yes, we were. See, Rocky? I told you it'd be easy to convince people. <laughs> Why is it only maidens who are sacrificed? Great question! Thank you. We have a lot of questions just like that. Well, uh, good luck with wrong. the bake sale. Missing persons awareness campaign and revolution by way of cupcakes. That's what I said. I'm kind of curious how exactly the whole system got set up in the How's first the campaign place. Going? It's building cup by cup. So you're going to get rid of the whole system? One cupcake at a time. Each one is like a question. We go from town to town, selling cupcakes, asking questions, until it's like a giant snowball of cupcakes and questions, rolling on and on and getting bigger and bigger, until it's big enough to take down a whole mog itself. Wow. Yeah, but, you know, you gotta start small. I want a snowball made of cupcakes. Where are your parents? Well, my dad is in my mom's cloud shoe hut, getting parenting lessons from Rocky's old man. And my mom's trying to cheer up another victim of the maiden's feast we met. A girl my sister's age. And I'm not supposed to tell anyone where my mom is, but I know. Let's just say she's catching dinner. Well, bye. Good luck with the bake sale. Missing persons... Oh, never mind. Yes, how did we get down to what there anyway? Grandpa Beastender should have something amusing to say. Hey! Oh, shake, shake, don't, don't. Okay, old man. This time you're going down! Do that. <sighs> He's clearly bored. Say there. <clears throat> you guys know any place around here to get some money? Oh, I have lots of money. My dad says it's important to give it away. You want some? It's just enough to buy a cupcake. Here you go. Thanks. Why do you have so much? Pops gives it to me to give to Harmony, but I know Harmony likes to stay light, so I keep most of it myself to lighten his burden. That'll never hold up in court. Somehow, I think you're going to end up the hero of your family. <laughs> I know, because I'm a warrior! Yeah, he, he's smarter than he realizes, though he's still not that bright. Why are you beating up this little kid? Not! Teaching him how to fight. I'm on lesson five. He begged me. What are you guys doing all the way out here? We needed to find a place far away from everybody. Some people don't like to see an old man beating up on a little kid. Or the other way around. Uh huh. Keep reading. Did you guys see that bake sale over there? Yep. Frosted them cakes myself. Fastest gun in the West. Almost out of the red stuff. Well, I got enough for one more cake. 
I better save it. I want to make sure I have enough to make one for Bella when we find her. You frosted all of those cupcakes by yourself? I can't help it. To see a blank cupcake, I just have to frost it. I'm against this whole baker thing, but if we're gonna do it, then I'm gonna be the best at it. Like me, with fighting! Do you really need that thing? You seem pretty light on your feet. Well, I do seem to have a lot more get up and go, now that Bella's inspired me. Seeing her kick that fog red in its soft fits really put the fight back in my bones. Uh, I still need the cane. It's where to keep my frosting. Okay, back to your lessons. On your feet, soldier! He does have a good point. Oh. Do you know this girl? That's my granddaughter. Only one in this family that's got any sense. Or guts. I like the way she smells. Yes. Okay, so the kid's not in... Oh, the kid is interactable. He's just hard to... there. Huh? Okay, back to your lessons. On your feet, soldier! I am! Oh. I'm guessing that they're just a pair. It's really only good for protecting babies from radiation. Maybe you would fight better with a crochet hook. We actually started with chopsticks. You only just graduated up to the big step. It's harder to poke myself in the eye with this. I'm getting a Ralph Wiggum vibe from you. Need a talking spoon? In my day, spoons didn't talk. I bet they did. And you just never listened. You certainly told him, Spoon. This button only works on grabbing Gary. I wonder where he is now. And what he's grabbing. I don't know how to tune that. Can you train my robot to fight? Sorry, I only work with flesh and blood. Sometimes sugar, eggs, and flour. Just to be clear, some of that is for fighting, some for baking. I don't mix all that together. I feel like I've grossly neglected doing this on things. This thing isn't good for much, except for representing what a superconductive gyroscopic hypercar. How about some delicious fruit? Here in training. No snacks. No. I don't think I want to grind in the eggshell onto that. Okay, so the use of it is grinding eggshell onto something. Maybe it'll work in his hey, dead hey. mixture. You want to buy a cupcake? It's a fundraiser. Hey, can I buy one of those cupcakes? Pause. I got money. Here's your cupcake. The red frosting is special. It was her favorite kind. Well, actually, it's my favorite kind. But I never let her have any before. And now she's gone. So now I wish I could. Hey, Rocky, it's okay. We'll go and find her. You know, she's probably out beating up some poor Mog right now. That is most definitely true. Uh, thanks for the cupcake. Tell him, Rocky. They've got red frosting! Yes! Such amazing fauna on this planet. Now that matter was... Here, wasn't it? Ah, there it is. What happened to this place? Haven't you ever been to the Maiden's Feast? I want to say no, but I'm worried the answer is yes. Um, do you know this guy? No one should ever have to go to a Maiden's Feast. And no one ever will again, if 
I can have anything to do with it. I'm cool with that. It looks like she got the steel bunting back. What exactly is a maiden's feast? Something we've always had to do. So we were told, and we believed it. We thought it a great honor. We were so happy for Vela. So proud of her. So foolish. So... Maiden's feasts are bad, then? My daughter taught us that when she fought the monster. You see, it didn't destroy the town. It just ran away. She was right the whole time, all those years. All those girls. For nothing. I'm not sure if you want to hear this, Morelia, but you're actually cheering me up right now. Is there anything I can do to help? I just want to find my daughter, to beg her forgiveness and tell her how proud of her I am. Please, please be my mother. <laughs> what were you guys talking about when I walked up? I was just trying to cheer up this young lady here. But she's just starting to realize what a loser I am. You are not. Then why didn't Mog Chathra pick me? Well, uh... I'm not sure, honey. I can't think of any reason that sounds so... <laughs> um, who are you again? My name is Shay. I'm not from here. Listen, Twyla. It's time to move on. And do what? The maiden piece is the only thing I've prepared for all my life. Well, I'm sure you're good at lots of other things. Like... Uh, let me think. Fixing spaceships? No, we don't have many of those around here. Well, at least your costume is cool. Oh, thanks. Made it myself. You made that stunning dress by yourself? That's amazing, Twyla. Meh, that lot of good it did me. Do you think you could make me a costume? Huh? Oh, I think that would be a great thing for you to do, Twyla. Well, maybe if you had a pattern and some material, maybe I could whip something up. Okay, I'll get a pattern and the material and be right back. <gasps> oh, exciting. I wonder if she can use this as a pattern. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, can you make me one of those? Oh, that's adorable. How old is your baby? Oh. It's for me. I need it a little bigger. Well, I suppose I could use this for a reference. There's my can-do gal. Just get me the material you want for your giant baby onesie and we're good to go. It's not a... Oh, never mind. Be right back with the material. Well... This isn't filled out. I feel like I've seen this face before. Yes, you have. Sort of. Mm -hmm. Something weirdly familiar about that bird. I guess it's moved on now. I have an evil, evil thought. Sacred leaves fall upon us! Uh-oh. Very, very evil thought. And that was someone pressing a wrong button. I know what they were trying to do, but they weren't actually trying to call me. I need to pause. Sorry about that. Anyway, got a person on a diet. I don't want to tempt him. He's doing so oh. good with the juice.
with our new stuff, we should head back down. Maybe try using some stuff on other stuff. Better not move it. I don't want to cheese off Gus. I'm not sure what kind of utensil that would make. That wouldn't help. I don't think I can fix him with a crochet hook. Not the right part for this guy. I don't think poking holes in it will do anyone in. I don't want to put holes in it. It might leak out. It's these shells don't look crocheable. Well, that would make a cupcake pop, maybe. But I don't need one of those. This is amusing, at least. Don't see anything there I want to eat. Spoon, shall we eat this cupcake? Sir, even I, who believes spoons can do anything, wonder what kind of monster would eat a cupcake with a spoon. I don't know. I don't think I can tune a spoon. I'm always ready to play in the key of E, A, and T. Can you fix him, Spoon? I think he needs a recharging, sir. All right, all right. Try that. I can't eat the frosting off of this poster. What do you think of this fruit, Spoon? Oh, sir, I wouldn't eat it. I mean, how can you trust food that doesn't come from a replicator? Besides, I'm sensing a strong acid content. What can you tell me about these eggshells, Spoon? Well, I wouldn't recommend eating them, sir. They are comprised primarily of calcium carbonate, which has little or no nutritive value. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's try giving him stuff. Hey, maybe a hook would help. I've already hooked my ladder onto his cloud. I'm just afraid to climb it. <laughs> Would a cupcake cheer you up? I don't deserve a cupcake. I failed Brother Lightbeard. Aw, oh, poor guy. Can you think of any way to help this guy, Spoon? Only by making sure he started his day with a nutritious breakfast, sir. I don't think I want to grind any eggshell onto that. Why don't you have some food? That always cheers me up. I don't want to cheer up. I deserve this sadness, for I have failed. I really don't know what to do with you, man. Just a big if I could pile play of real hope. music on it, maybe that would cheer him up. Nothing will cheer me up. How does that big cloud stay afloat? Just like all the other clouds, there's nothing special about my cloud. Any idea where I can find a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit? Hey, whoa! What are you implying? I'm naturally buoyant. Just uh, I just meant that you seem dialogue. to know a lot about lift. Please, my lightness comes from within. Okay, see you later. Would it help if I threw you a crochet hook? Please, I try to avoid useless possessions. You may look like an ice cream sundae, but I don't think that will... I can't do that from here. <laughs> Want to see my pitch pipe? I need to be rescued, not tuned. Same time. I can't do that from here. Uh, by the way, please don't touch that <laughs> Can you raise the dead? I'm a spiritual guide, not a witch doctor. How does that big cloud stay Back. afloat? Okay. How does that big cloud stay afloat? Must stop hitting that. Okay. Have you seen this girl? I think that was the girl who broke my ladder. Don't know how I know, just something not light about her. I can't do that from here. Yeah. I can't do that from yeah. here. What are you waiting for? I can't do that. How does that big cloud stay ah. Okay, see you later. This is just an annoying omni click presence thing. Oh, oh
we can do anything fun with him. Hey, if I gave you a crochet hook, could you make something interesting out of it? No, I never learned how to crochet. But maybe if this whole die-cast figurine thing doesn't work out... You want a cupcake? No, thanks. I bought a dozen from this family doing a fundraiser, and I ate, like, all of them. Wow. Well, I wanted to do my part. It's pretty impressive. Want some fruit? From that big tree in Mariloft? No thanks. I had some earlier. Too tangy for my tastes. Hey Curtis, do you think you could make a metal version of this? Huh. Well, that's a cool looking one of those. But it's not a mold. I only work for mold, sorry. I am getting how it... I think I know what we need to do. Mostly just because of that sap interaction. I'm just gonna put this here, okay? Hey, the forest isn't your dumping ground, human. We need to make a mold. Hey, do you know this girl? Oh god, that face! The memories! <laughs> The sap hardened into a perfect, albeit gross-looking, mold for a hypercamp. This is a somewhat obtuse way of going about it, but I think we may have a hypercamp. Hey Curtis, do you think you could use this as a mold? Hmm. Hey, this is a nice mold. What is this, a candle holder? It's a super... Because candle holders sell like crazy. I can totally use this as a mold if it's a candle holder. It's a super candle holder. Cool. Let's try it out. Hit the road, kitty. Please don't be a cat. Please don't be a cat. That's perfect. You think it conducts electricity really well? Well, not that it matters for a candle holder, but based on the metals I'm using, yes. Thanks. Yeah, you take the first one. Fair trade for this awesome mold that is going to make me so rich. Uh, which <clears throat> I only care about because it gives me the freedom to be truer to myself as an artist. Thanks, Curtis. Pleasure doing business. I mean, art with you. You're only can. Now that kitty mold is not direct. Yeah, discovering I could set that there was pretty much what got the gears turning on how to turn that into a mold. Ella has scarred that poor tree for life. Think your mixture could use some eggshells? Well, the calcium carbonate in them could help balance the pH level. Why don't you give it a shot? Got myself? Okay. That might affect the pH, but until I figure out a way to measure it, I better not experiment. What can you tell me about these eggshells, Spoon? Well, I wouldn't recommend eating them. Measure them. Not delicious. Food is delicious, but I don't want to mess up the flavor profiles of the- Yep, same face. He's not in a cupcake mood, because he's dead. No, I've got bigger plans for this cupcake. I'm just not sure what they are yet. The 
let's give him the mole or the hypercam thing and see what he thinks. Love to get some progress done this week. Here you go, one superconductive gyroscopic hypercam as requested. Hey, that looks even better than my old one. This faux sandy texture really adds to the conductive surface area. Brilliant. Oh yeah, that's a really recent advancement in hypercams. <laughs> Fairly needless achievement. Let's go talk to the would be mayor again. Or not talk to, I mean, interact with. Because if any of these things break his fancy. I don't think he's looking for a hook right now. This button only works on grabbing Gary. That's not food. Plus, he smells like fish. Want your pitch pipe back? Definitely not. The world can keep itself in tune from now on. I don't think this guy can fix Hexapals. Hey, have you seen this girl? Why, that's the girl that helped me build the Maiden's Arena. Great smell on that one. I'm going to save my juice for a higher purpose. Care for a cupcake? No, thank you. I need to start slimming down for my mayoral campaign. The sash adds ten pounds, you know. I wonder if that's a hint or if it's just amusement dialogue. Hey, Carol. Ah, oh, that's so nice to hear. Did you say you had wire? I have a bunch, but I'm using it all up trying to make these dang hooks. Well, good luck and good fishing, Carol. Ciao! Anything else might be a useful one? I'm going to save my juice for a higher purpose. Need anything tuned? Can you tune a fish? <laughs> Get it? Kind of. It's like half clever. Hungry? Yes, but only for the sweet bounty of the ocean. Why didn't you say the crochet hook would work again? This hook may look small, but it's made from really advanced materials. You could catch a whale with this thing. Mm-hmm. Prove it. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're making any progress here right now. And with that, it does seem we're a bit out of time, so... I'll see you all next week. Later.